Hi, my name is David Spooner. I'm from Idaho in the United States. And I just wanted to make this video to share with people information and allow them to kind of follow along with my experience. I'll probably make more videos as things progress um, with my situation. So there's actually a lot of different alternatives, different types of surgeries, and even different types of stem cell um, therapies. Um, as I learn more, I'll share more. But uh, as of now, I've decided to travel to Barcelona, Spain and have a doctor named uh, Dr. Gillette um, do stem cell injections on my lowest two discs in the lumbar. So he suggested after looking at my MRIs that I do um, stem cell therapy or I guess technically they call it a stem cell inoculations um, and with my own stem cells to regenerate my discs and um, he explained that if uh, there's a lot of good reasons to try this first and uh, one of the biggest reasons is that it's non-evasive meaning it's non-destructive to the body that is why um, I've decided to do that and it just makes sense after doing a lot of research but it was hard to find the information on the internet so that's why I'm doing this video now um, to try to get information out there with you guys um, to help others. I think the thing is like every person's situation is different. Um, in my case it's um, my lowest two discs in the spine like I said. Well I, I, the first time I had surgery it was on both discs. Second time it was only on the, the lowest disc the L5 S1 disc. In any case, my after having my MRI done again, I have re-herniated my lowest disc, the L5 S1 disc, and um, I'm in pain again, and I've been trying to do physical therapy and different things, but it's just not working. So, and obviously the surgeries that I've had before didn't work, so the, now I'm trying to do something different and this just makes sense so um, a lot of people ask me like why are why am I going to Spain to have this done why can't I just get it done here in the US and the answer to that is in the US they still haven't uh, approved um, stem cell therapy uh, in the US here the FDA hasn't approved it in Europe the European version of the FDA and Spain, those authorities have approved it and they've been doing it for, uh, I believe, I, I want to say seven years, but it might be 10 years. Um, but the doctor says they've been developing it for 10 years. Anyway, um, from what I understand, Barcelona has uh, one of the world's top uh, labs and um, research. So yeah, the procedure that I'm going to have done is going to cost me $21,000. That includes the pre-op tests that I'm going to have done over there in Spain. Um, I already had the MRI done here in the U.S., which I paid out of pocket, which was pretty expensive. Also, I'm going to throw up the, the image of my the last MRI I had done. Um, so if you look at this image, you'll see that the uh, the lowest disc, the L5 S1 disc, is pushing out um, against my spinal cord and the roots, and I'm I've been having pain down my leg um, on the left side mostly. However, this reherniation is kind of evenly pushing on both sides. So, for, but for some reason I haven't had pain on my right side and that could be because of the, uh, the previous surgeries or something like that. So they're going to inject in the lowest two discs, the stem cells. So they're going to harvest the stem cells out of my bone marrow and my hip uh, bones and then they put them in a the lab for 23 days. Um, but the what a lot of people don't understand is the bone marrow has um, 
it's not just a bunch of stem cells. It's actually a very, very small percentage of stem cells from what I understand. So if you have a procedure like this done, a lot of doctors, they don't throw it in the lab. They just take the bone marrow out and they inject it straight into the disc. So you're actually not getting very many stem cells at all um, injected in your discs in that case. So this lab in Barcelona, Spain, that, the, that Dr. Gillette works with, um, takes the bone marrow, um, bone marrow blood out, and then they filter out all of the, they extract all of the non-stem cells out of the mix, and then they take those stem cells and they culture only stem cells uh, in the lab during those 23 days. And the goal is to have uh, 20 million stem cells per disc yeah, um, and that's supposed to regenerate my disc, so I'm hopeful that this will work, and um, and as I learn more, I'll uh, I'll post up more information. And yeah, it's constant 24-hour pain is is really hard on the mind and the body, and sometimes it's just I've yeah, it's really difficult to deal with. So. I'm sure if you're dealing with it now, you understand that. So anyway, um, that's it. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, put them in the comment uh, section and I'll try to read through, through those and address those in the next videos I make. So thank you. Bye.